Hey, partner. How do you do? You've been keeping. Passing through, friend. Not looking to bother anyone. I see. That's right. You're gonna give a Lamon Raider his damn respect. Step up. Don't be shy, pal. Sift through. See what you like. All right. What do you have for me? <coughs> uh huh. Well, that's that. Leave it here. Thank you. Hey there, partner. Good morning. Bella.
Hey, mister. day last time. Want to stack up? Woo. Got fresh rounds in my rifle and strong coffee in my gut. What'd you say to another game? So, big shot? Won't say no. Let's fire off a few. Happy days. Just like last time, whoever shoots the most bottles wins. All right, stand alongside me. Soon as you pull your weapon to aim, we let fly. Uh, you ain't lost to losing, I take it. Uh, well, now I'm miserable. All right, let's raise the stakes. Go again, huh? That's it for me, I think. Well, I still owe you some, so come and get your money. Here you go, as promised. Thanks, friend. Careful now. Next time, I may not hold back. Nice shooting. Guess I just had the edge in the end. Yeah, right. Enjoy your win while it lasts. You talked a big game, friend. But they weren't good at all. Please, I let you win. You'd throw yourself in a lake if I'd given it my all. You know, it's one thing to be a lousy shot. But to act like a damn child about it, you're pathetic. What? You calling me a child? Oh, I'm just rattling you, fella. You're all right. You're poking a dangerous animal, my friend. I'd proceed with due caution.
Howdy. Enough of that. I got real problems to deal Okay there, boy. Now, where's this shine? Stop that wagon! What is it? Whoa. Uh, word of warning. I seen a big old gator just sitting in the road up ahead. I think we'll take our chances. Step down from there and drop your weapons. I'm taking this ship. Stay here, boy.
blazes do you think you're doing? Got your moonshot! You're a wonderful man! Wonderful! <laughs> you got my money? Huh, it's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money. <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great deal. All deed. I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent. No, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable, a way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls, a way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. What? You see, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where hmm. is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that?
Stay there! Howdy. Hey, you know if any Pinkertons have been seen around here? I don't know, sorry. You're having fun. <laughs> Hello, sir. Hey. Hey, eyes ahead, friend. Hey. Hello. Well, hell. Been so long, we all figured you'd gone and got yourself killed. What can I get you? Hello, sir. Just give me a drink, quick. Here's beer. Where you from, mister? Me, I'm St. Denis born and bred. This is the real city right here. Might not look like much, but St. Francis is the soul. Not the mansion dishes with all those big old houses. You won't hear music like you do around here nowhere else in the world. Ragtime, he puts rhythm in the white man. But what do you care? Not much, I'm guessing. fella I gave this to woke up in the swamp a day later. <laughs> Hello there, sir. Nice to see some friendly faces around here. Anyway, folks, please don't mind me. Hey, mister. How do you do? Hi, folks. Hey, tesoro. Everything okay? Huh? All right, well, good luck to you. Arrivederci. Hello, sir. Hello, mister. How'd you do? Ma'am. Howdy, sweetheart. You okay, boy? Take a look at you, tough guy. Friend. Sir? <laughs> hey there, partner. Bonjour, monsieur.
So, what will it be? Darling, I'm dying of thirst. This is meant to be a saloon, not a bloody vicarage. Oh, what's wrong Bonjour. with you? What a girl have to do to get drunk around here? Not bad, huh? Praise me. Good evening. Hello, gentlemen. Can I get a room for tonight, please? Okay, room is all set. Oh. Just head upstairs when you're ready. What I wouldn't give for the love of a good woman. I'd give up booze and opium and that little toy I had sent from Paris. Oh, don't be shocked. None of you, not even you, Tom. Oh, do any of you know about Tom? <laughs> he was a priest. <laughs> Where is bloody Tom? Tom! Howdy, handsome. Where in the blazes are you? Little Catamite was a priest until he got defrocked. <laughs> it was an outrage. I'll tell you all about it. <sighs> you talk a lot of nonsense. <laughs> nice to see you again, cowboy. And you, Miss... Um... Lillian Powell. <laughs> I used to be quite well known. Now I'm just the bloody town drunk. Who knew you? <laughs> the worst types, darling. Intellectuals. In other words, men without balls. Hermaphrodites, as my mother would call them. Eunuchs, as my father liked to say. Geldings. I was popular with geldings, darling. Now even the balls hate me. I'm a fat old mess. Hey, folks. You ever play this before, Brent? Howdy, big boy. Olga's going had to let his store close. He couldn't compete with the 15 immigrants who are... Have a nice today. evening. In the basement of the store down you. the street. Mm. All right.
Hey, yo. Hey there, Mr. Bonjour. Monsieur? Well done. You deserve a break. Good morning. Good morning to you. How's things? Got no reason to complain. Glad to hear it. Take care. Take care now. Are you following me? Sorry, mister. My mind was elsewhere. And how are you today? What did I do to you? Horse. Thank you. Far too nice for the likes of you. I've heard worse from better men. Fine morning, partner. Mister. must need eyes in the back of your head. Huh. Anyway, I won't disturb you any longer. Bye now. So welcome to our humble police house. Can I help you with something? <clears throat> Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a Humane execution machine. An electric chair. And he, uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. But it's gonna cost you $100 in fees. Hey, look. This will save you money in the long run. And, uh... It'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen. But I'll give you a permit for 50. OK, well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen in the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, Finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment? I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Good morning, mister.
with you. You was warm. Good morning, mister. Hey, ma'am. Take a pamphlet. Bien Learn bonjour, all about monsieur. our great religion and understand the importance of safety in nature. Good morning. Belle journée, n'est-ce pas? Take a pamphlet and learn all you can about our wonderful approach to religion. According to the great teachings of our master, this land is our heaven, and the two oceans are our shells. It is only here that we can truly be ourselves, where man can find his place in heaven. This, this is Chelonia, the one true American's religion, the one true Bible was handed down 100 years ago this year to our prophet from above. You actually believe this shit? Hello, sir. Can I interest you in Chelonianism? Uh, I don't know. Can you? Well, I hope so. It is a fascinating religion that was taught to a very wise master about a hundred years ago in a land not very far from here. Take a book, please. Clear the way. No, thanks. Oh, have a wonderful day. Be safe. could prosper here how much better shall Morning a white to. man do in this sacred place no more kings all kings our prophet told us this 100 years ago Mister? Hi there. Ma'am? Bonjour, Monsieur. It's time to be saved. It's time to be saved. You. Officer. Good morning.
Hun. Good day. Hello. Don't they? Hey there, fellas. Looking sharp. Got something to say? Whoa, all right. Just passing on through. Go on, then. Well, see, you boys need Whoa, to learn some respect. You know what? Time for <laughs> Whoa, that's it, boy. Take more than that, boy. Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the Chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and... Immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. Why, this is all coming together wonderfully. The final piece of the puzzle. Can you believe that? Come on. I have only a few more adjustments to make. Uh, please hurry with our subject. Science hey, friend. Thank mm -hmm. you. 